Hello friends, this video on powers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we got a fair idea about the negative exponents, let us look at the laws of exponents. So we have already learned about these laws of exponents for positive exponents. So the same laws are true for negative exponents as well. That is if you have any two integers a and b, a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. That is whenever the bases are the same and you are trying to multiply them, then the exponents will get added. When bases are the same and you are trying to divide them and the exponents get subtracted, that is a to the power m divided by a to the power n gives a to the power m minus n. Now, if you are trying to find out the power of a power, that is a to the power m and this whole power to the power n, that is equal to a to the power m n, that is a to the power product of both the exponents. Now, if you come across a scenario where the bases are different, but the exponents are the same and you are trying to multiply them. So in that case, your result would be the product of the two bases to the power the exponent that is AB to the power M. The same is true for division as well. So when your bases are, are different, but exponents are same, the result becomes the division of the two bases to the power the same exponent a to the power 0 is equal to 1. Any number to the power 0 would always be 1. So let's start with powers of the same base. But this time the examples that we will take, we will consider only the negative exponents. So what happens when we multiply or divide powers with same base? So it says that a to the power m into a to the power n is a to the power m plus n. So let us take one example. Let's say you have 3 to the power minus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 3. So what would be the result? It would be 3 to the power sum of minus 2 and 3. That is it would be minus 2 plus 3. So plus 3 minus 2 would be 1. So this would be 3 to the power 1. Now let's take one more example. Now if you want you can verify this as well that you know this is how it should be that's because if you look at the left hand side so left hand side is equal to 1 by 3 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 3 so this becomes equal to 1 by 9 into 27 so 9 into 3 is 27 so this is 3 so left hand side is 3 and right hand side is also 3 as per the formula also like as per this law of exponent. So this proves that the law of exponent holds true. Now let's take few more examples. Let's say 3 to minus 3 to the power 2 multiplied by minus 3 to the power minus 2. So in this case the bases are same both the bases are minus 3. So this becomes equal to minus 3 to the power 2 plus minus 2. So this is equal to minus 3 to the power 2 minus 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. So anything to the power 0 is equal to 1. One more example. 3 to the power minus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power minus 4. So here both the powers are negative. So what would happen? The logic would still remain the same. It would be minus 2 plus minus 4. So this would be equal to minus 2 plus minus 4 would be minus 6. So 3 to the power minus 6 would be the answer. Now let us look at division. So here let's say the first example that we consider is 5 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power minus 2. So this would be equal to 5 to the power 3 minus minus 2. So this would be equal to 5 to the power 3 plus 2 that is 5 to the power 5. One more example 5 to the power minus 3 divided by 5 to the power minus 2. So both the exponents are negative. So what would be this? Find out the subtraction between minus 3 and minus 2. So this would be minus 3 minus minus 2. So this would be equal to 5 to the power minus 3 plus 2 that is 5 to the power minus 1 so this is the answer so in this fashion we whenever we see that the bases are the same then if we are trying to multiply them then the exponents are added if we are trying to divide them then the exponents are subtracted let us now look at power to the power that is a to the power m whole to the power n 
is equal to a to the power m n. So let's look at some examples and verify if this holds true or not. For example, if you are given 2 to the power minus 2 and whole to the power 2. So as per this law, this should be equal to 2 to the power minus 2 into 2. That is 2 to the power minus 4. So this should be the answer. But let's try to verify this. So how do we verify? On the left hand side, we have 2 to the power minus 2 to the power 2. So let's find the value of this. So 2 to the power minus 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 to the power 2 whole square. Right? So this is 1 by 2 to the power of 2 is 4. That is 2 into 2. And this to the power 1 to the power 2. So this is 1 by 16. Now how can we write 16? 16 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So this can be written as 1 by 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 2 to the power minus 4. So that's the right hand side. Right here. So we have proved left the value of left hand side is actually equal to the value on right hand side. So this also proves that this law holds true. So let's take few more examples. Let's say you have 2 to the power 3 to the power minus 2. This, is e this would be equal to 2 to the power 3 into minus 2. That is equal to 2 to the power minus 6. Now, if you have something like this, where both the powers are negative, that is 2 to the power minus 3 to the power minus 2. So, in this case, this becomes 2 to the power minus 3 into minus 2. So, this would be 2 to the power 6. So, in this fashion, whenever you have two powers like a to the power m whole to the power n, this can be written as a to the power m n, that is product of the powers. Now let's talk about powers with same exponents that is the bases are different but the powers are the same something of this sort where the bases are a and b respectively but the exponent is the same which is m. So again here also we will take examples so let's first consider examples for the multiplication. So let's say you have something like 2 to the power minus 3 into 3 to the power minus 3. So as per this law this can be written as 2 into 3 to the power minus 3 that is 6 to the power minus 3. Now how do we know this is true? Let's verify. So left hand side is 2 to the power minus 3 into 3 to the power minus 3 which can be written as 1 by 2 to the power 3 into 1 by 3 to the power 3. So 1 by 2 to the power 3 would be 8 and 1 by 3 to the power 3 would be 27. So 1 by 8 into 1 by 27 which can be written as 1 by 216 and 216 can be written as 6 into 6 into 6 that is 6 cube. So 1 by 6 cube can be written as 6 to the power minus 3 and that's the right hand side. So this is also verified. So let's try one more example. Similar to this if I give you 5 to the power 3 multiplied by 6 to the power 3 let's say minus 3 so this would be equal to 6 into 5 that is 30 to the power minus 3 now let's look at division so if you have something like 2 4 to the power minus 2 divided by 2 to the power minus 2 so this would be equal to 4 divided by 2 to the power minus 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2 to the power minus 2 would be the result. Let's try a few more. Let's say you have 15 to the power minus 6 divided by 17 to the power minus 6. So this can be written as 15 by 17 to the power minus 6. Now let us look at few more examples and let's see how do we apply the laws of exponents. So if you have something like this which needs to be solved, so what would you do? So let us look at the first one. So here you see the base is minus 4, here also the base is minus 4. So this falls under the category of same base, different exponent. And here we are dividing. So when we divide what we do, we take the same base. And in the power, we instead of dividing, we subtract the powers. So this would be 5 minus 8. So this would be equal to minus 4 to the power minus 3. Or you can even write it as 1 by minus 4 to the power 3. 
Let's look at the second one. 2 to the power minus 3 into minus 7 to the power minus 3. So in this case, we have same exponent because both have exponent minus 3. But we have different bases. So here what we will do, we will multiply the bases. That is 2 into minus 7 and this whole to the power minus 3. So 2 into minus 7 would be minus 14 to the power 3. This can be written as Okay, so this is minus 3. So this can be written as 1 by minus 14 to the power 3. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.